Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Empire episode something 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 something. I've been streaming this game for so fucking long. I think we're... Is it in the 40s? I think it's in the 40s. I'm gonna say it's 45. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. It's been too long. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm not streaming this one. That's because my internet's garbage and it doesn't want to... Uh, Upload anything. We're just gonna go ahead and head into things here. Federation Association offer between those people. That Federation's getting pretty big and they don't seem to like me. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the hell I was doing here. I think really what we need to do is we need to build up our fleet. Task Force Tarkin. Oh yeah, we're, we're um, making sure we don't get any more rebels. That was a big deal. Last episode, I think we lost the system because of that. We should probably work on, uh, you know, pacifying the masses a little bit better. I think we're gonna do some battle cruisers. Independence achieved. guaranteed. All right, whatever. We got a t tile blocker clear thing. That's fine. Robot resource production. I don't think I have any robots. Oddly enough, I think. Let's do, you know, let's get all of that garbage out of the way. More Federation Association offers. What's our transport fleet doing? Just sitting there. Alright, that's fine. I think that's probably ideal. Uh, and then we should probably look at, like, the surface of our planets. Make sure we are optimizing all of our, uh... Resource extra extractions and stuff like that, like this, is not good. This is not how you want to do it. You want to have more people. More slaves. All the slaves. Right? This one's going to be all slaves? I think it's going to be all slaves. Non aggression pack broken. Interesting. For now. Yeah, I think this one's all going all unrest hollowed. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Um, hunger strikes, let them starve. Yeah, I think this is going to go all minerals. It's going to be like some small things, like a military academy apparently. I don't know why. I guess for the science, because the science can be a thing. And yeah, I think that planet's fine for now. I'm pretty sure I went over all of this last week. But I just want to double check, make sure everything's in order before we really get started. So, unspent traits, that's right. We got a perk thing here, tradition. I mean, I guess we go down, go down this stuff a little further, right? Army damage, why not? Yeah, that seems good. We'll get the Admiral Cap next, and then the final one, and then we'll get another, uh, Unlock thingy. That should be good. We just gained a level. That's fine. Should also probably check in on our sectors, right? Like, what is Ardon Devis doing? Huh? He, uh... I mean, they got quite the stockpile. They could steal that. Do I want to steal it? Probably not right now. But... You're on an industrial focus, yet you are generating nearly no minerals and a ton of energy. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Oh no, never mind. Other way around. I'm an idiot. I'm looking at the stockpiles. Uh, yeah, it's that's fine. That's fine as is. We don't have to worry about that. We got some science stuff. We did the subterranean thing. Let's pause for a second here. What do we want next? Crew quarters, engineering bay, that's pretty good. Habitability plus 5% is also pretty good. We could do the heritage site, I don't know. I say we go for this one, it's cheap, it's also decent. And then we got engineering research, which is the good stuff. I like the engineering research. We still don't have robots. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's really gonna be a focus of this campaign. Hasn't really been up until now, so I don't see why it'll start. 
Mineral storage capacity plus 500. That's dumb, but okay. And turbo laser, quad turbo laser research chain. Now quad turbo lasers, that's interesting. How long is this gonna take? 35 months, that's a long time. Hmm. Let's do it. I think, yeah, I think it's worth it. And non-aggression pack. I should look at my ships. I don't think that I need to adjust them, but you never know. Hey, look at that. I do need to adjust some of these things. Oh, we have disruptors. I forgot about disruptors. Now that's a thought. Putting disruptors on our ships is actually going to be extremely helpful. Uh, the range, not ideal. I mean, it is kind of small, but... That 60% armor ignoring is pretty amazing. Versus the 30% here. This does do 30% extra shield damage, but I mean, we have the ion cannons. So, like, disruptors and uh, ion cannons is probably the better way to go. If I had to guess. Especially on our Corvettes. Uh, you know what? We don't need that. We're at... Why, why can't I save this? It's not have enough power. Really. It has to be plus one, apparently. By the way, the... Uh, terror victims. Okay, whatever, whatever. The rework to ship design is actually really interesting. We're not going to have power anymore. Like, power is just going to be a thing. I feel like I remember... God damn. Too many unrest events going on. Um, but yeah, the, the way that ships are going to be designed in the future is going to be interesting because we're not going to have to worry about adding reactors. Ships are going to have a pretty much a set reactor and then it sounded like we we might be able to upgrade them through tech or possibly modifiers similar to the shield capacitors um so pretty much it's going to be shields and armor going down here with your set power limit and then you'll have uh you know other things basically they're trying to rework things they're trying to get rid of the death stack or doom stack kind of mentality whether or not they'll actually achieve that i I'm going to hazard to guess no, but, you know, they're going to try. I can't can't fault them for trying. We do that. We have plenty extra. I don't know. We'll just do that. That's fine. I don't really care. So that's adjusted. You... I think we're going to put disruptors on as well because you're going to be very close. We're going to allow you to upgrade that. You got shield, so might as well get a shield capacitor. Going to upgrade these. I don't think I build any of these anymore. I think this is why this is so out of date. But you know, it is what it is. Might as well update the designs. Uh, don't have to worry about these. We can just, you know, delete. Can't remove last design. All right, never mind. We've got our Venators. Now, the Venators, I don't think we're going to mess with too much. We can give them better reactors, which is a good idea, I think. And then we can... Spend that better reactor stuff a little bit here maybe no doesn't look like it we could consider just like dropping a small no that doesn't even work either i don't know i guess i guess we'll just put a zero point and then we'll just have an extra medium armor it'll work well, we can do that. That's a little bit better, I guess. In fact, we could probably do two. Save that. And then... We've got our uh, ISD-2s. The ISD-2s are absolutely... What's the range on the large? 65. 
versus 85. So quite a bit of a ranged dip. We're definitely going to put some on, though. Then we're going to do that. Uh, the ion cannons have decent range. Considering the large slots are going to engage further out, I think it makes more sense to do something like that. Then I don't know, we'll put a medium there. The small slots are going to be missiles because they're the only things with the range, and this is, by and large, artillery behavior. Also, behaviors are supposed to be changed. I think you're going to be able to have a little more flexibility with how your ships behave in combat, which is actually amazing because I really hate how locked into the roles they are. Like, if I want to have missile boat cruisers, I don't want them to run in, you know? I don't want them to have mixed behavior. I want them to stay back and be have artillery-style behavior. You can't do that with this system. But things are going to change soon, so I'm actually really happy. Uh, all right. Well, I'm really happy that they're changing things up. Point defense doesn't change. Hangar slots does change. I forgot about that. We've got our uh, torpedo bombers here. They're not as cool as the uh, tie bombers, but, you know, they are better. Yeah, they're much better. Oh, well. The tie bombers just look way better. Uh, we don't have anything else. We're at negative 52, so we're just gonna swap you for armor. Nope, we're gonna swap two of them for armor. There we go. Save that. The SD2s have been updated. And we're looking at our carrier ship. This one, I think we do have some of them around. I don't remember, honestly. If we do... What kind of behavior is this? Artillery behavior. So that's good. That means we want long range. Uh, yeah. Pretty much... This is the way that we want it to be. Uh, this is all a mess down here, and I don't like it at all. So we're just gonna do something like that. We're gonna take the hyper shield. We're negative 72, so... You're gonna be armor? No, you're going to be armored too. Alright, that looks a little bit better. Not quite as messy. We've got the right hyperdrives. Ah, shit. I messed up. I messed up good. I mean, the armor is really not worth it on such a small ship here. I would much prefer the shields. That gives us plus 42. That's just too much. It's minus 42. That's plus 42. There's, there's, there's no winning. There's no winning here. There's zero. Exactly zero. Um, just to make things look a little bit better, I guess. There we go. Uh, and then we got our gladiators. Gladiators definitely need an update here. Say so we do that. We've got a large ion cannon. We've got some medium missiles. We're going to do some torpedo bombers. You have your updated combat chips. We're at negative 36 energy, but we don't have our zero points in yet. Uh, this is all riveting stuff, I'm sure. You guys are... I'm really excited to watch me dick around with these ships. I know I am. I think there was a hangar slot on one of these that I didn't update. Yeah. That gives us negative 80, so we need to get some more zero points. I'm not even going to mess with it. That's fine. I just kind of want to get through this so that we can start building more boats. Because that is pretty much the focus of the next few episodes, is we're going to be building up our fleet to be somewhat competent, looks like. These cruisers were kind of missile... Missile style, huh? Alright. 
And you're gonna be a hyper shield, I think. No, maybe not. Save it. It's fine. I do like that bridge a lot. That's a really nice looking bridge. Uh, what what am I on here? I'm Victory 2 class, so we're gonna go to the Procursator. The Procursator is getting some disruptors pretty much across the board. Again, we upgrade the zero point reactors. And. Hmm. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Sure, that works. And then we got the victory class. I think for the most part, we're going to leave the victory class alone, but we are going to change that and we're going to change this. Oh, yeah, and then the bottom here should be messed with a bit. Alright, whatever. That's fine. It's ugly, but it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now you guys. You guys are swarm mentality. You're supposed to get in there pretty close, right? Picket behavior. Alright, not swarm, but still. A little bit. Let's give you... Uh, there's no medium slots here, huh? That is unfortunate. We're just going to give them a balance of weapons, I guess. It should be fine. And then we our interdictors are old tech at this point. So let's try to update them a bit. In fact, I think I'm going to do it this way. And we'll give them the torpedo bombers because those are what we want. We still only have one slot in here. We want to give them zero points, and, you know, that's just about perfect, so do it. And we got the Reluctant that we don't use, and I'm not going to go through it because you guys have already dealt with a bunch of bullshit. So, Transport Fleet, doing nothing. Construction ship, doing nothing. Task Force Tarkin, we've got other ships coming in. Things are looking good. I would say... Where are my battleships? ISD-2s. Let's load up on ISD-2s. And then we'll build some escorts. I guess only one. We can only do one escort. We should try to also... Breakthrough achieved. Refactor some farms. If we find any farms anywhere, basically, we should probably get rid of them because we're making way too much food. We got a scientific breakthrough. Gene banks, galactic benevolence, or galactic markets. All rare techs. This, meh, don't really care. Galactic stock exchange. Now that's pretty amazing. Also, the Imperial Commerce Office. Gene Banks, I mean, that. Filter and curate above genomes, deployment, and clones. I, I f forget if I'm just missing the text here or what, but I think we're going Galactic Markets. That seems like the smarter choice for us right now. Construction complete. More escorts. Anger said you were. And yeah, let's keep looking for farms <laughs> yeah, to get rid of. Dedicated, dedicated. We do not want any more of those. Like this. <laughs> this is a farm. We don't want it. We're going to turn you into minerals. <laughs> right? Yeah, minerals. Why not? Slaves should stay slaves. Otherwise, we get like upset people, and it's kind of annoying. And after we replace these farms, we'll see how our uh, food goes. What the fuck? Shouldn't actually use up all of our food, so let's continue on. Look for more farms to replace. Now this planet is the food planet, so I'm reluctant to remove farms from here. Terror victims, that sucks. 
But other planets that are not the food planets are the ones that I probably want to remove the farms from. What do we want? Looks like physics. Physics is what we are short on, so let's continue working on that. Modifiers, happiness minus 10%. Why is that? Was enslaved. Alright, whatever. You'll get over it. You guys are all slaves. You do have a lot of farms. We could definitely replace some of these with mineral stuff. And I'm tempted to do a silo right here. Where is the capital? Am I blind? The, the capital is in the corner. You idiots. Demolish this. Build. You know what? Yeah, do a Stormtrooper Memorial. You're getting replaced with a Planetary Administration. We're going to get some pretty sweet buffs in the middle here. We're going to replace you with... We can't replace anything because we don't have a capital building. Never mind. We unlocked the next level of power plant, so that's good. Uh, we should probably go for the next level of mineral thingies. Mines, next time we have the chance. Want some destabilizers. Complete. Fortress, defense station, defense platform. Useful. I think... Is the shield tech important for megastructures? I don't remember if it's part of the chain. I kind of feel like it might be. Ruler gained a trait. Blessing King Blessing Dry has developed new skills. He has an eye for talent. Alright, cool stuff. Let's get the fucking colony ship thing. Get it out of the way. I think we're just going to try to, like, unless we get, like, a sweet tech, we're just going to do the cheapest thing. Try to get all that basic tech out of the way. Because I've been ignoring it for far too long. You're a farm. You shouldn't be a farm. What do we want to make you? Food down there, I'm assuming. Slave riots. Um... Nothing, like, it doesn't seem to matter. They've gone too far. Kill them all! Just kill the slaves. I don't I don't want them around anymore. If they riot, we kill them. Seed planet. Somebody lost big. You lost big. That's not good. That's not good at all. Non aggression packs. Um, alright, what am I, I'm gonna swap you for energy, because you're right here. Power plant. Independence guaranteed. You get some upgrades. Where is that planet that I was, here it is. What are we doing? Oh, he's building the memorial first. Alright. Oh, Taxas. I need to come back to Taxas. I need to remember that. You're going to be a physics lab. You get upgraded. You get upgraded. And yeah, I mean, like, it's not exactly exciting stuff that we're doing here, but it is important. be clear about that. It is important stuff, even if it isn't the most exhilarating. We have a mineral silo here. This should be replaced. Like, the energy grid can not be here, because this isn't going to be an energy planet. Why can't I replace it, though? Oh, it's already being replaced. Never mind. Previous me is smarter than I thought. Heavy ion cannons. Now that's a good one. Jump drive. Eh. We have enough problems. Getting jump drives is only going to accelerate those problems. There, there's going to be more of them. So I think we're going... 
Gonna go with the heavy ions. We're getting close to getting our uh, blaster radiators, which is gonna be pretty sweet. Getting the quad turbo lasers, like, come on, that thing's awesome. It's basically like an old school flat cannon, except it shoots fucking lasers. Either way, we're at 25 minutes here. So I'm gonna wrap this recording up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me manage all of this bullshit. It's boring as fuck, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Incoming and yeah. Okay, let's, let's pause here. We'll deal with this stuff in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to uh, like, comment, you know, do stuff, interact with the videos. The more you interact, the more people get to see my videos and then possibly, you know, more people hang out. Uh, I will try to remember to put the Discord link in the description. Feel free to hop in the Discord. Talk with me if you want to, you know, talk about maybe more Stellaris videos you want to see, whether they be different campaigns or um, more of the guides. What the hell did I call them? I called the guides something like that. It was like, no, two minutes was the other one. Fuck, I don't even remember. But yeah, like the, you know, explanation guides. I do want to make another one. It's just I fucking busy all the time man and I'm, I'm always busy and i've been having issues with my car so i've been working on that on the weekend which means that i can't really record things and you know, you know it is what it is anyways this has gone on for way too long thanks everybody for watching and i'll see you all later